Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm the Clumsy Simmer and today we are back in Willow Creek and I am doing a spring inspired family home for you guys. Um, I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. I know I say that a lot, um, but I am. I have been such just in the mood for spring lately and so I really wanted to build a house inspired by spring. Um, you guys tell me, does this house make you think of spring or... Does it just look like a normal house? <laughs> um, it definitely is just a normal house. Just a normal suburban house with blue paneling wallpaper and white windows. And um, it's pretty. And there's plenty of yellow flowers everywhere. And in the backyard, I made like a big garden with planter pots and a little flower arranging table and the interior of this house I really really tried to keep it spring inspired so there's lots of bright colors um, it definitely reminds me of Easter which is coming this weekend and I wish you all a wonderful Easter or at least the ones that celebrate um, if you guys celebrate, tell me what do you guys do with your families? Um, do you guys have a bunch of kids and you go Easter egg hunting? Or do you kind of just chill around the house? Or what is it? Uh, tell me. I'm really curious of what you guys do and what you guys enjoy to do. Um, and it is also not just a day for the, for the Easter bunny. It is also a day to think and thank our Lord and Savior. So I really hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Easter. So let's go ahead and get right into this build. So right now I'm pretty much just trying to get the landscaping situated. Um, I grabbed these bushes that I love. Um, hedges, hedges, bushes, uh, same thing, right? Um, I just love those bushes. They make the lot look so like detailed and pretty the shape of the bushes are just wonderful they're like the best shape and the color of them they're just my favorite they're way better than any other bushes in the game I have to say as well as these yellow flowers that I seem to use all the time but I, I mean this is a spring build guys I had to use these pretty yellow flowers I mean when I think of spring I definitely think of yellow and maybe like pink and blue and like purple like a lot of pastel -y light colors um they can also be really bright so just bright pretty colors and so i wanted to fill this whole lot up with a whole bunch of pretty colors and i think in the end i managed to do that um here in the backyard i also pulled out like the garden path stones and i'm really happy with the way that the back turned out it's it's really pretty guys. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Here I am just placing these planter boxes. They actually end up on the other side because I also uh, want to put this monkey bar out for the child that lives at this house. So this house in total ended up having four bedrooms and two bathrooms. And so quite a large family can live here. Um, I actually made these Sims just for fun. Um, I did not record myself making these Sims. And it consists of a mom and a dad, and they have a child, which is a little boy, and they have a toddler, which is a little girl, and they are also expecting a baby. And they do not know, they chose not to know the gender of this baby. And so the baby room in this house is gender neutral. And yeah, I thought that was a fun little touch. And um, this floor plan is kind of, I don't know, I guess you could say it's the same floor plan that I always do, but um, it's, it's a little bit different. I ended up, you know, forming the stairs in that L shape instead of just having like the normal long, you know, stairs like the normal stairs that are just in one straight line i did use the l-shaped stairs that's not something i do often because i find that i can't make it look very good for some reason but it really fit for this lay for this layout of this floor plan and so i was really happy about that i am guilty of always putting this staircase right there by the front door i have no idea why it's just 
that's just what I think of every two-story house I've been in. The staircases have pretty much been by the front door. Um, I, I'm sure there's houses out there that are not like that. But for me, that's that's kind of all that I know. <laughs> uh, sometimes I'll try to put the staircase, if I think about it, in a different part of the house, like in the living room or something. But it just always, always, always works out in that way right by the front door. And here I am pulling out these garden stones, the garden pathways in debug. I love these. I don't always feel like putting them out, but when I do, I... I think it always just makes the area look so good. And I almost just used terrain paint to make like a pathway over to the flower arranging table, but then I was I wanted to give it more detail than just terrain paint. And that is why I grabbed out the garden path stones. And I just love how like filled the garden path stones make the area look um, and detailed and stuff. And um, I'm also putting some terrain paint under these monkey bars. That's something I always do because if a kid uses it, it's not gonna have perfect green grass under it unless they use it like once every six months, you know? So I, I really wanted to make it look like this backyard is very used by this family. And I think I achieved that in the end. And after this, I end up just switching to inside and getting the inside situated. And um, I end up going back to finish the little back porch towards the end. And so right here, this kitchen is very different than I normally do kitchens. And to be very honest, I, I was kind of stuck um, with like the shape of the kitchen and the windows and stuff. It just made it really difficult to make a good looking kitchen. But in the end, I think it turned out really, really cute. I use like that um, Home Chef Hustle wallpaper slash tile that you see. Um, it's like half tile, half wallpaper. Um, it's not on right now. I will pull it out. I almost didn't use that, but then I pulled out the Home Chef Hustle fridge and stove and I was like, well, now I can use the wallpaper, I guess. <laughs> and um, yeah, I used that blue and yellow color and it blended this house nicely. Let me tell you, the blue and the yellow together, I love those colors together. I think they're technically um, on the color wheel. I can't remember. I used to take art in high school. Um, I can't remember, like on the color wheel, they're like contrast colors, aren't they? Where they're like totally opposite, but they they also go really good together. Um, tell me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm probably completely wrong, guys. Don't listen to me and take life advice from me <laughs> or uh, any knowledge from me because I just talk sometimes okay I don't really some I don't really know what I, I talk about sometimes <laughs> but um yeah anyways uh, this little dining table I think or the dining room turned out really cute too I brought the blue and the yellow accents into the dining room as well and also added like some like reddish in there with the rug that I pulled out. That rug is from Laundry Day and probably is my favorite rug in the game. It always brings like the room to life. <laughs> and if you ever use blue or yellow and you put that uh, rug down, it brings those colors so well together. I love it. And those chairs are from Dream Home Decorator. I don't use them very often. I feel like they're a little like bougie, but it fit this house and so I used them. Um, I like them, don't get me wrong. They just don't look like normal dining chairs to me, you know? Um, and I also pulled out some of those uh, first day of school drawings from Growing Together and I put them on the fridge and I don't normally do that because I'm too lazy <laughs> but I really wanted to do it this time it involves you having to like delete the walls and use the uh like the nine key to shift the paintings up and use alt to free place it so it it makes you do some extra work but it really does look good in the end um also for some reason when I was filming I didn't film the living room but don't worry because that ends up changing anyways I do keep that rug because I thought you know I hate how the background is black I really wish the background wasn't black I don't know what other color it, it could have been 
I guess black is the best choice to pop, make the colors pop basically. But um, it kind of kills the spring vibes in this house for some reason. But I left it because it's very floral. And it is a really pretty rug. I haven't actually used it yet. Uh, and by the way, here I am just playtesting it a little bit as I build. So I don't have to go back and do it after. Um, it's kind of a pain. I like to know if the fireplace works when I put a coffee table down. Half the time... I always have to move the coffee table because I just place it too close to the fireplace and they can't light the fireplace because it's in the way. Um, and half the time, I swear it's not even in the way. They're just trying, the Sims are trying to be a pain in my butt, okay? Uh, just, that's what they do best. <laughs> and I also pulled out this, um, like that family, like calendar whiteboard thing that you can adjust like the kids curfew and you can leave notes and stuff like that and I love playing with that in my actual gameplay and so I I'd usually always put that in the kitchen and if I don't put it in the kitchen I'll put it in like a playroom or the living room or the front entryway or whatever I find a place for it um and I almost put more windows here but then it's just it's too many windows guys there is a fine line between not enough windows just the right amount of windows and too many windows and you have to find that perfect mix and it just it was too many and so I end up deleting those windows and I put a picture there instead I think what I do is I pull out um the picture frames from going together that you get after a family reunion um, I don't think I've actually done a family reunion yet because I don't play the game long enough to actually have enough family to invite. Um, and so I, I usually just do that cheat where it lets you ignore the gameplay entitlements or whatever. And I just pull them out myself <laughs> and skip the family, family reunion. Uh, like I said, I just, I don't play long enough to actually have a family. So who am I going to invite? The people that live here? I mean, what's the point of having a reunion at that point? I feel like the f the point of a family reunion is is so you can get together after not seeing each other for a while. And my Sims don't they don't last long enough for that. <laughs> um, and so I'm in the bathroom now. That bathtub right there does move, um, not really move, but I replace it with just a stand up shower because there is a shower tub combo in the upstairs bathroom and I replaced this one with the stand-up shower and I put a washer and dryer like the units that stand on top of each other I put that next to the shower because I wanted this house to have a washer and dryer I put out some like those laundry baskets and so I made I thought it made more sense if you have laundry baskets then you really need to have a washer and dryer as well um, I just had like an interesting idea uh, do you guys know or have you guys ever like tried to make a laundry mat in the sims or have you seen someone else make a laundry mat in the sims that would be pretty interesting I wonder if that would work correctly um, something tells me if you make it and it's like a community lot um, something tells me the sims like your sims would use it of course but you would have to like put all the laundry in your inventory and um, I don't think anybody else would be using the washer and dryer though so I'm pretty curious about that I might like try that out at some point I have like a whole list of stuff I want to try so it's gonna be at some point um, it might not even work you know I have a feeling that it's just going to be pretty like blank on the inside you're gonna have like random sims standing around and maybe watching like a TV if there's a TV in there um, but I don't, I don't see random Sims coming in and doing laundry. I wish that they would have added that as like a lot type in the laundry day pack. I think that would be a really cute, just a little cute extra something, you know, but, uh, yeah, this is the child's bedroom. Um, I kind of thought he was really into sports. Uh, that was him sitting on the couch, by the way. Um, I thought he was really into sports and he's also kind of like a whiz kid too. He's very smart. He's very physically and mentally talented. So I was kind of thinking, um, when he grows up, he either wants to be 
a basketball star or he wants to be a doctor um, because I th I would have to say that doctors they they have to be pretty fit and smart and so if you have both of those skills you're probably made to be a doctor okay so this kid he either wants to be a basketball star or a doctor um, he'll probably make good money doing both so he'll just have to decide which one he wants and here is the bathroom on the second story. I really wanted to keep true of the spring aesthetic. And so I do something that I never do. And I put a pink tub in the bathtub or in the bathroom. Um, there's nothing against pink tubs or even blue tubs or yellow tubs. I just normally just always do white. And that's because that's what I would prefer in real life. Um, I feel like when you see the colors like the pink and the blue and the yellow in the bathroom, that, that's typically outdated bathrooms um that you see from back like the the last time they were remodeled was in the 70s you know what i mean it was just back in that time the the different colors were very popular and so now it just kind of looks outdated at least that's my personal opinion that's not everyone's opinion i'm not bashing anybody that has a pink bathroom <laughs> Um, it's just my personal preference for a tub and a toilet and a sink and stuff is white. Um, and now we are over into the toddler's bedroom. And like I was saying, she is a little girl. There's nothing really too special about this bedroom. Um, I wanted it to turn out better than it did, but I just, I don't know. The shape was weird. Um, I was kind of over the build at this point. <laughs> um, when I'm building, I love doing the outside. The outside is like my favorite. And then when I'm furnishing the interior, I get so tired and fed up with it. I, It's just, furnishing is not my favorite. I love the exterior builds and I love the landscaping. That is definitely where I enjoy doing it the most. And I, I like furnishing, don't get me wrong. But it's, it's just not my favorite. And um, we are over into the toddler, or not toddler, but the infant slash newborn. So what I end up doing is I keep this green blue theme. I thought that rug was so cute. Um, I really wanted it to be gender neutral. Like I was saying, their storyline is that they are going to be surprised with this one. And so I thought green was a good color, green and blue, because that kind of keeps the spring vibes as well. Um, and I don't normally do like a green blue nursery. And so that little bassinet, I end up moving to the parents' bedroom like I'm doing right now. And so I kind of figured when they're first born for the two days that they're newborns, um, they could just go down there and sleep in their parents' room. I feel like that's pretty realistic. Most people do have their newborns in their bedroom. At least that's what I would do if I do end up having any babies. I would definitely have the bassinet like right there next to my bed. So it's like easy to get to. You can check to make sure the baby's breathing and stuff. Um, and when they get hungry, they need a diaper change. The baby's right there. You know, you don't have to go very far. And you can also hear the baby crying easier. And then I moved, like you guys seen, I moved um, the crib into that bedroom. So when the infant or the newborn turns into an infant, they already have a crib there ready for them. And so now we are in the backyard. We are almost done with the build actually. So we're in the backyard. I'm placing some little decorations. I pulled those butterflies out from, I think it's backyard stuff. And this table and umbrella set right here, I end up moving in a little bit. I just totally delete that. And I found one that's better. It was from the backyard stuff. It was really like bright pink and blue. And so I thought it fit the build way better than the one that's there now. All right, guys. Well, on that note, we are actually nearing the end of the video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, definitely subscribe to my channel. Um, thank you guys. We're above 100. Yay. Uh, thank you all to those who have subscribed already. And if you haven't, definitely make sure you subscribe because if you made it this far, then you're definitely enjoying it. And also leave a like on this video so I know to make more videos just like this. And on that note, I will leave you guys to enjoy the screenshots. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. A heart's beat. To the city streets
we begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals, they take us higher The night's young and it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night 